Hello, hi, welcome to my garage. My name is Ali, and in today's video, we're gonna be trying a new primer. I am a scroll saw beginner. I've only been doing it for about two and a half months or something like that, and very inconsistently for that time. So this is my first floral. Long story short, it's finished, but I don't really like how the paint job turned out, and a lot of that has to do with how I prepped my MDF. So I took to the internet, as most people do, and everybody on there, suggested this. So we're gonna give it a go. And what better way to do that than to actually make a whole new flower. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this out. We're gonna sand it, prep it, prime it, and then come back to it another day and paint it and see if it looks any better than my first flower. A little bit of background. I think in the cutting department, I'm actually not doing too bad. My first project that you've seen the floral from is probably the worst it'll ever be but i mean for my first ever project it's actually really not that bad and i'd actually consider it quite good considering the like the equipment i used and my knowledge in this so i mean it, i did really good on that sense um, my second project was for a sign for my office for my fpv videos and again i think it actually turned out quite well it's just the paint that i'm struggling with so we're gonna repaint the letters and then glue that up and then that one's pretty much done this is the one i'm most concerned about here in learning how to paint because it's the most intricate so far and i think i really outdid myself here on the cutting so i would hate to do all of this shaping cutting sanding all of that just to screw it up when painting and that's a gift for a family member so i really don't want to screw it up because I really like how it's turning out. So that's why we're learning how to paint in this video, just like as a little bit of a background as to why I'm so intrigued. Not that you needed to know, but that's what I'm working on. Waste my life, put in work, have patience. I've been killing myself to reach greatness. And sometimes I've been wondering like what I even do this for I do this for the lost kids Pull up from the dark, keep them out of coffins I took my pain and I turned it to a profit I never changed, never saw that as an option And I've been doing this since I was 17 Made some millions, now I'm living all my dreams But it's hard to live with faith, feels like a coffin What's the gain if I only feel the losses? Yeah, yeah I chase my dreams I got everything I wanted G63, but I'm too scared to flaunt it All I did was to overcome my past I was just a kid, now life's moving way too fast Haven't been the same since it was over in a flash And I can't focus on the old days, we'll never get them back Yeah, we'll never Might get them Might mess up and pop a pill I'm still climbing up the mountain where all my flaws are colliding in And sometimes I feel better when the world breaks in my mind now I haven't seen the sunlight in days Like what I even do this for I do this for the lost kids Pull up from the dark, keep on out of coffins I took my pain and I turned into a profit I never changed, never saw that okay, as so an option First sand is done I'm going to spray it And then I'm going to sand it again after that's dry And then spray it again I'm thinking I'm gonna separate the pieces a little bit and do them all separately. Cause if I'm gonna paint this the way I want to, I really need detail in every one of the pieces. So yeah, it's looking good. My hands are cramping, but not bad. So this is how I have it laid out. I don't know if this is gonna work, so I might already butcher it. Um, I'm hoping the paint isn't thick enough that they won't go back together, but this is what learning's all about. So I guess we're gonna just wing it. I'm gonna spray most of it on top, not necessarily the sides for the first coat, but I don't know. So excuse the mess. This is like my painting area and I clearly don't clean up. I'm I'm scared. It's covering better 
they look so much better. Later. Okay, excuse the messy garage, but I finished my flowers. So just a reminder, this is the first one I did. It is not that great, but you know, not horrible. You know, it's honest work. But this is the second one, the one that I started for this video. Like, I'm actually amazed with the difference between the two flowers. Like, insane difference. I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> All this camera is heavy with a cage, but I'm going to give you guys a brief explanation on how I painted that. So essentially, I cut out the flower, I sanded it with a Dremel to get the shapes and contours, and then I sanded by hand with 220 grit sandpaper. I'll see if I can find my little, yeah, my little sponge right here. Sanded all the pieces down with that. Once that was done, I then did one coat of primer filler. Sanded it down lightly again, not any to affect the shape, just like the, the primer. And then I primed it again for a second time after that. If some spots needed sanding, I did a very light sand. If not, I just used this beauty tone paint that I found at my local home hardware. It was on sale, looked cool, so I picked it up and it worked actually really nicely. And then for the shading that you see in like the gradients, I actually have a local store that sells the DIY furniture refinishing paint and stuff. So I picked up some little bottles of fusion mineral paint, beautiful colors, beautiful coverage. And I actually adore this paint. It's just really expensive. So I bought the little containers to see if it would work and it worked fabulous in my airbrush watered down. So that's how I got the gradient on the petals. So. I'm super stoked with actually how that turned out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Adios.